Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is Josh. And this is the very first episode. I'd like to start this whole thing off with a brand new product, the Propel 2.4 gigahertz cloud rider that comes with a camera. So uh, stay tuned and we'll get some uh, we'll get some reviews on it. All right. Here you have the Cloud Rider, 250 mil, 2.4 gigahertz quad by the brand Propel. Propel makes a assorted little quad that everything from the little nanos up to this 250. They're all pretty neat and they're all pretty fun. I have a couple Propels, one that I gave my son. This one is one that I found in an Office Max store. It, it was 99 bucks. We'll be getting into what I think is good about it, what it comes with, what I think is bad about it, what it doesn't come with, all that kind of good stuff. This 250 here actually is super freaking light. It comes in all kinds of color schemes. This one is the one that I chose for this video. It's this red theme here. I like it. Except for a couple things that I'll get into later. There's more out there. The Office Max that I went to had the silver version of this. It's the same kind of metallic color except in silver. And I saw online there was a few other variations of the paint job. One that looked kind of like a yellow jacket. The store that I was at only carried two of the combinations. So that might be something to look for if you're interested in this little flyer. It's 99 bucks uh, where I got it. I feel the price tag was mostly justified. I would have liked to see it a little bit lower for a couple reasons I'll get into later. It comes with an assortment of everything. It does come with these prop guards installed. You can remove those. Pretty much everything on this is removable. You could take it apart with a single Phillips driver. In fact, it comes with the Phillips driver that you can take this entire thing apart with. To get kind of into what comes with the kit, of course, you get your quad, you get your transmitter, you get a baggie full of goodies. You get a 3.7 volt, 730 milliamp hours. You get your charger here for your pack. You get some documentation. This does have a 90 day warranty on it. It's got the manual, although the manual leaves a lot to be desired. But this right here, and I'm holding it upside down, is the freaking best part of it. This little flying club, they call it the flight club. You can join the fight, flight club, fight club. There's a rule about this. You don't talk about flight club. You just go to their website, sign up for it and everything like that. Free freaking parts for a year. In this little bag of goodies, it does have a few essentials in here. You do get some screws, you get an extra set of props, you get your driver, which I was saying that you can take everything apart with, and you also get the USB to micro eight, micro SD HC adapter. This is very important if you want to record your flight footage. There is a camera right there on the bottom. It is nice, and the camera is activated by a button on the transmitter, so you don't have to worry about starting it up and recording a bunch of shit that, that you don't want and flying around recording a bunch of stuff that you don't want to you can get into position and then hit your record you can also take photos with it got a lot of stuff that comes with it a lot of fun things it does not come with any batteries except for the for the battery for the quad the battery charge time on this like i said you get about eight minutes of flight time hour charge unfortunately you cannot use the little things right here to plug the battery into. I've tried that, it doesn't work. It's it's not the right plug. So you have to plug it in at the end of this because I was really excited. I was like, oh man, you can order a couple more and have a bunch of charging at the same time and then go out and have a lot of fun. Nope, it only plugs into this end. Um, 
I'll go ahead and turn this on here. Right here, these little buttons on the side here are actually used to, uh, I don't know, control the response. 40%, It's it feels real sluggish whenever you try to control it, even the throttle's a little bit sluggish. At 60%, it's a little bit more responsive. 80%, it feels real nice and twitchy. At 100%, I found that it felt like it was too much, like it was in a necessary mode. They could have left 80% at 100%. There's also trim. So all of the Axi have trim on it. Uh, a thing to note is that whenever you turn on your transmitter, they recommend that you plug in your quad first and then turn on your transmitter. I found that it actually will not connect, at least on mine, if I turn on my transmitter first and then plug in my quad, it like won't sync up. It will arm. As soon as it sinks, it will be armed, so that means if you start messing with the throttle, as soon as it's both units are on and they've synced, the motors will be armed, and there's no way to disarm the motors. This is the configuration and pretty much which I always had my quad in. What I've done is I've taken the camera and I've mounted it into the top. also took the prop guards off. It added a lot of extra weight, really, and honestly, it has so much better stability and uh, the camera is also pointing uh, straight ahead. It balances perfectly, you know, I've got the wire, you know, all wrapped around the side and it doesn't tug or anything like that. There's plenty of slack in it still. And I just used a piece of Scotch brand permanent double-sided adhesive. And man, this thing stayed on here pretty much through everything and uh, only came off one time after it finally got so dirty it didn't want to really stick on anymore and I had to replace the tape on it. And this is the design that they really need to think about uh, putting the cam up on the top. That's how I ended up having mine set up through pretty much the entire time that I was using this thing. I love it like this. It's awesome. The things I really like about this, the pros on this system, it's easy to fly because it's so light, it doesn't continue with momentum. So it comes, you know, to a stop pretty quickly whenever the gyros want to kind of level it back out again. It's got a neat little acrobatic mode or, or I, got, I forget what they call it. It's like trick mode or something like that. But anyways, you like press one of the shoulder buttons and then you, and then you use it. And since this is a mode two, you press this shoulder button and then on your right stick, you move it in any direction and it'll do a little flip in that direction, which actually works. It works as advertised and you only need it about six feet off the ground to actually do that. I like the fact that it's nice and nimble because it's so light. I like the fact that they give me the tools to take everything apart and they include a couple extra things in the bag. I love that they have unlimited parts for a year. My battery for my other 250 weighs more than this entire thing does. I mean seriously, like the battery alone weighs more than this entire unit. The props are real easy. You just, there's a little screw on the side and you back it out and then pull the prop off and push a new prop on, align the screw holes and slowly turn your screw into it and they'll, they'll align just perfectly. And I like the fact that it actually comes with a tool and like I said, you can use it to take the prop guards off, the legs off, the whole entire chassis apart. There's really not anything that you can't take apart. Which brings me to a couple things that I don't like. I do not like the reduction gearing on here. Uh, I understand why they use reduction gearing. It's open on the bottom. And so it makes it very, very easy for stuff to get caught up in there or for somebody to tear up this gearing. It's only plastic. I don't think having exposed gears on anything that you are solely meant to use outdoors is a great idea. Uh, secondly, I don't like where this camera is mounted I understand why they did it. Again, this goes back to an aesthetic. Everybody has their cameras mounted on the bottom. That's the big boys. This instance, since it only tilts down, it's very annoying staring at nothing but the ground for the first couple minutes of your flight movie. I found that super annoying and I find that it encourages people just to send it up as high as they can go and record everything, which I think that if you're a beginner buying one of these, man, that's not something you want to do. It's also zoomed. I mean, like extreme zoom. I, I could like have it 
20 feet up in the air looking down at myself and it would be like I was two feet away from the craft. I don't really like the quality of the paint job. It actually started chipping away just with me handling it. And what's funny is none of these places are where I use tape to attach the camera to the top. They're all like around the edges where I would open and close the battery door and stuff like that. And where I would actually hold the craft whenever I was carrying it around. Because of the nature of this metallic paint, it flecks off very, very easily. And so the aesthetic is ruined very quickly. I also don't like that it's $100. I feel this is more of an $80 quad. I don't think the $100 price tag is justified. Everything on this, I can build my own of much higher quality for $100. So anyways, to wrap up my review on this, on this tiny light little guy that's almost impossible to break, uh, I give it seven out of 10 props. Props, there's some um, really glaring uh, negatives that just can't be overcome because they're either uh, an aesthetic or because they're something like this. And uh, so I'm not gonna give it more than seven. Seven props out of five. I mean 10, math. It's fun, it's mechanically sound, but it's not a super great deal at $100. But if you're looking for a platform to train on, to move up into some of the more expensive, nicer 250s, especially if you're really looking at the racers, then this is the guy that you wanna start with, in my opinion. No, I can't get this thing plugged back in. It's so hard because it's so small. It's so small, I can't get it in there. I can't get it in there. Too small.